Hey guys, how's it going? This is Nat Nader, and welcome back to Dreamfall The Longest Journey. Now, for once, it actually hasn't been that long since I last played this game, just like a couple days, but um, the latest couple of episodes have been a bit, I don't know, maybe, just in my opinion, not that exciting, so hopefully something's gonna happen, because we're now playing as, um, whatever this guy's name is. Alright, it's, it's been long enough that I forget what his name is, but yeah. He hasn't really been much of a character up until now. Maybe he'll do something. His name's not the... He's not the Prophet, is he? I don't know. Just slandering his name now. Ah, here we are. Dear Diary, today I was sitting in this chair and it was very boring. Oh, I have company. Apostle Alvane, welcome to Mercuria. Please, join me. We are honored to have you visit us. I trust your journey was comfortable. It was, Mistress. This is an impressive edifice. The construction is almost complete. We will soon celebrate the inauguration of a permanent Azadi seat in the Northlands. The Six will travel all the way from Sadir to be here for that momentous occasion. But I bore you. You already know this. So, Apostle, I understand that you have been sent here to bring the word of the Goddess to the Scorpion. I have. He's responsible for the death of many Trueborn here in the North. Indeed. And I surmise the Six no longer have faith that we will find him and kill him ourselves. I am only here to assist in your efforts, mistress. I do not intend to challenge the authority and expertise of your commanders. I see. Well, we should be grateful that an apostle will lend his sword to the task. These terrorists, they have become more than a nuisance. They stand in the way of technological progress and spiritual enlightenment. They are only making it worse for the people they claim to protect. After all, we wish only for these heathens to be bathed in the purifying light of the Goddess, and to receive passage to Paradise. Instead, those bothersome few make life miserable for everyone. They seek liberty and democracy, but what we have given them is so much greater than that. Without us, they would not even have the city. We have given them peace, prosperity, and progress. What more could they ask for? Yes, mistress. Hmm. So where do you intend to start looking? If you wish, I can lend you the services of my men. Thank you, Emissary. I will require only a few men, but not yet. I have a few leads to follow first. Just do what you must to stamp out the fire before it spreads too wide. I will have no more delays to the construction of the tower. Our schedule must be upheld, or there will be grave consequences for everyone. I will do everything in my power to bring the Scorpion to justice, Mistress. Good. You may leave me, Apostle. I will see you again soon. Oh my, who's this? I swear to God, the Apostle is like a Terminator. He's just a robot. Commander Vamon. Apostle Alvani. What's brought you out of your sanctuary? A mission. A mission? Look at his face. I well, see. Not his, the other guy. It must be quite a mission for the Council to have sent you all the way from Sadir. After all, <laughs> okay, it's not it like you don't so already have many looking. fine officers and agents here in Marcuria. So, who do they want you to kill this time? Anyone I should know about? My mission is a matter of confidence between myself and the Emissary Commander. Don't insult me, Alvani. I have the Emissary's ear and our utmost confidence. We're not in Sadir. Things are done differently here. Commander. Forgive me, mistress. Did I speak out of order? The Apostle is here at the behest of the Six. We would do well to treat him with respect. Of course. And he's most welcome to our little outpost Where is of the he Empire. Looking, though? He was just leaving. Thank you, Apostle. May the light of the Goddess illuminate your path. Thank you, Emissary. Commander. Apostle. Oh god, he doesn't like me. <coughs> Mistress, you sent for me. What do you make of this Alvane? 
You served with him in Sadir, did you not? I did, mistress. Alvane is a brilliant swordsman and a loyal servant of the Six. Spare me your politics, Commander. We are alone. I don't trust him. He's risen through the ranks much too quickly. <laughs> that was he has quick. connections. Someone inside the Sixth Circle holds his hand. I believe so. His skill with the sword is... better than adequate. But his standing in the court is unprecedented for a man of his caste. Yes. He is... young, is he not? Too young. And he has no family. No blood. Ah. Now I see why you dislike him so much. My pardons, mistress. But his lineage is not all that I distrust. He has strange friends, and his virtuousness is galling. Why this sudden interest in Apostle Alvani? The Six have sent him here without consulting me, which is worrying. I wonder what this could possibly mean. Also, the Apostle appears... soft-hearted. He has never been this far from home. If he begins to empathize with these heathens... I understand. What would you have me do? I want to have him followed. Make sure he does not get... distracted from his mission. As you wish, Mistress. That is all, Commander. You may go. Thank you, Mistress. The Apostle will never stray far from my sight. I can assure you of that. Oh, the subterfuge and espionage that comes with religious type things. Destiny, oh my. Ah, well, once again, the Apostle's story is very short and not all that exciting as much as I said. But thankfully, something's happening from the looks of things. <clears throat> we must be back with um, Raven or um, April Ryan in the Dark People's ship. Oh, here he comes. They look like Death Eaters. Just like cloaked and less creepy. You honor us with your presence. Your wave has crossed many oceans, and carried our vessels far abroad. Thank you. So you know who I am? The Shadow Guy didn't. It is curious. We share a common memory, and our thoughts are as one. He should have known. Maybe he was simply confused. Maybe his eyes were blinded. Maybe. That's fine. I'm here now. So this is your fabled city. It's stunning. What was that? She just it is down. one city. It never ceases to move. It flows at the will of the cosmos. At the mercy of waves and currents. You have come to see the white of the kin. Yes, that's right. Why is she here? With you? It is not for us to know the mind of the dry kin. You may ask her that question yourself. Come. She is in the library. Alright, let's do this. This place is pretty, pretty. Hmm. Oh. Come. Oh, calm down. It's just stopping to take in the atmosphere. I could go this way. Come. Are you going to be creepy? Oh, you're going to be very creepy. I'm going this way, though. Screw you. Ah, oh, this is just another dog. It's out over there. Eh, oh well. As much as I wanted to explore, you're being creepy, so I guess I have no choice. They're meant to be creepy, but that voice is just like... I don't know. 
something about it. Are these guys gonna like be evil? And also I think that like maybe the reason that the dark guy, the shadow guy as she called him, maybe the reason Please be quiet. We are resting. Wow, how rude. Follow me. I'm telling a story here. Anyway, you shut the hell up, man. As I was saying, the Shadow Guide didn't let us on board, and apparently they share the same mind, so I'd say that he probably thought that he could get something out of us to let us on board the ship. I thought there'd be a cutscene in here. Oh, what the fuck? That's creepy. Don't do that. Well, April Ryan does not give a fuck. I can't even look up. I guess that's the point of the cutscene. You wouldn't see it otherwise. Hmm. And they can just float around. Did you put a sock in it? Jesus, so impatient. Got off the damn cutscene. Are we underwater? The hell? What is that weird sound? I can't hear it properly. What's this? No, Sorry, shut man. up for a second. These trees reach deep underwater. Probably much, much further down than they reach up. Is it like a whale or something? It sounds creepy. This whole place is creepy. Oh, books. Shut up. There are texts in every language and on every kind of material. Follow Stone me. tablets, woven cloth, parchments, inscribed crystals. Follow me. But mostly there books. This is our library. It's enormous. It is as ancient as we are, as old as the first civilization. We have collected every word ever written. There is no other library like it. And you've only collected what others have written? We do not create. We collect, we record, and we store. It is left for others to trap words between sheets of paper. We do not often allow visitors into our city. But if you have a purpose here, then you are welcome. I guess I have a purpose, though I'm not sure what it is yet. The greater the purpose, the harder it is to understand and to accept. I shall go to the White of the Kin, and tell her that you are here. The library is yours to peruse in the meantime. Okay. Thanks for that. Guess I'll uh, have a sneak peek at what's over here. Someone's been reading. A what lot. Fuck? Crow? Is that really you? Oh Hello, my god! April. How nice to see you again. Fuck? Thanks ever so much for leaving me hanging dry on that mountain path. Eight bloody years ago! Hmm. Yeah, well, you are a crow. You're still hung up on that? Eight years is a very long <laughs> time, crow. Bam! Yes! Yes, it is! That's exactly what it is! A long time! It's water under the bridge. Get over it! No! No, no, no. <coughs> the Red River under Hangman's Span. That's water under the bridge. You were my best friend, and you deserted me. For eight years! Jesus. I was in a bad place. I needed to go away. I needed to be on my own. Fine, sure, but did you have to just up and leave me without warning? You couldn't have talked to me first? I was your best friend, oh. April. You didn't even bother to look me up after you were done doing... Whatever it is you needed to do. It's not like I'll ever be done with that. But you do have a point. I did leave you hanging. Hey! Don't go playing your wily mind games on me, woman. <laughs> You're getting in the way of my righteous anger here. Oh, Jesus. so it's all my fault, is it? You couldn't have tried to, I don't know, track me down? 
There you go. Thanks. So what in the name of the balance are you doing here? I'm on a journey of inner discovery. A journey of... Never mind. It's good to see you, Crow. It's been too long. Yeah, you know... No, oh, for crying out loud! <laughs> Aww. That's cute. I'm really happy to see you too. Honestly. Who said anything about <laughs> being happy to see you? I'm just relieved you're alive. And don't think I'm not angry at you, or that I've forgiven you, because I am and I haven't. I know. So what's new with Oh Oh, it's it's Miss White. Oh, Crow's going. I tell you, I always love characters that are named Crow. Doesn't matter which game. Sister, oh, you look tired. Thanks. Nice to see you too. Y you've changed since the last time I saw you. That's because I have this human body. Do you like it? It's hard to miss. Why are you in human form? It's a disguise. I'm in exile. Someone hunts the kin. That's why I'm here, and why I'm wearing this skin. It's tight and uncomfortable, but it conceals me. And it makes some humans look at me with admiration. <laughs> uh, let's, um, oh, fuck it, let's find out about the hunting. Wait, you're being hunted? By whom? I don't know. Shadows and ghosts. I think the others are gone. And I'm worried. <clears throat> All of them? I know the two dragons and Stark are gone, but what about the old one? The blue of the kin? He's silent. They're all silent. I can't feel them anymore. They've ceased to be. And I'm alone. Is it the Azadi? Who are the Azadi? Oh, yes. The humans you've taken up arms against to forget yourself. No. This enemy isn't mortal. Hmm. Who is this enemy you speak of? You have no idea who this enemy is who hunts you? I feel it searching with dark eyes. Reaching out for me with sharp talons. It wants to eat me up. But why? Why would anyone want to kill the dry kin? So that there's nothing left to challenge it. So that it can run free amongst mortals. So that it can devour. Undisturbed. But don't worry about me. I'm safe here. It can't touch me now. Huh. Well, you called me sister. What's that about? Why do you call me sister? We're bound by threads that weave through time and space. By words that create and destroy. And by kinship stronger than blood. I don't know what that means. It's been troubling me for so long. Are you saying that I'm a dragon? There were only four. And now there's only one. No, you're not dry akin, sister. Then what does it mean? I can't explain. It's not in my vocabulary to explain. And this narrow mouth can't articulate the words. We have history. But more than history connects us. I can never get a straight answer out of anyone <laughs> in this world. I came here looking for answers. I need to speak with the Guardian. You have questions for him. Yes, about my... My future, I guess. You want to know if you're free from responsibility. Free to live your life. It's what all humans crave, isn't it? Freedom. And I understand why now. This body is so constricting. So small. So fragile. Soft and beautiful and pleasurable. But a prison for the soul. How did you know what I planned to ask the Guardian? Your worries weigh you down, big sister. Your heart's heavy, and your mind's a maelstrom. It pulls at me and everyone around you. You're unable to shift. I'm... Yeah, I've lost that ability. It's not something you can lose. Maybe you've just forgotten how. Well, it doesn't work anymore, and even if it did, I can't just open a shift into the Guardian's realm. Really? Why is that? Because that's not how it goes. I can't... 
I could shift between Stark and Arcadia, but it was a hell of a lot more difficult to go to that place. Everything's changed, and everything's still changing. But you're right, you can't do it on your own. This one needs to help you. What? But me? What could he possibly do? <laughs> Thanks, April. I'm right here. Some respect, please. Like all living things, he has a purpose. This is his purpose. Or at least part of it. He's an important bird. I can help you open a shift, sister. But it can't be done without him. He must go with you. I'm not agreeing to anything unless someone tells me what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. You only need <laughs> to be bird. here, funny bird. <laughs> what the hell? You'll be fine. Close your that eyes, April. Good. What? Close your eyes. Don't argue. I get impatient. Fine. My eyes are closed. What now? Nothing. You've opened up a passage between worlds. Do you see how easy it is? What? How the hell did you do that? I didn't do much. As I said, you can't lose your talents, but you can forget them. I helped you remember. So I can shift again now? No. Not on your own. I don't know why. That's just the way it is. The portal will remain open on the other side, but it won't take you back here. It'll take you to Mercuria. Whatever answers the Guardian may have for you, and whatever your future holds, that's where you need to be. That's probably true. Well, I appreciate all your help. Take care, okay? Stay here and stay in that disguise. It suits you. This is the safest place. And there's so much knowledge here. So much wisdom. I never knew that the scribbled words of mortals could be so fascinating. Good luck, sister. Live well. You deserve it. You've earned it. Come on, Crow. I don't trust portals. They always lead to trouble. Go on, little one, funny bird. She needs you now. More than ever. Okay, okay. Lucky for you, I have a soft spot for pretty ladies. <laughs> Coming through! She did like a Star Wars hand wave at the crow. I don't know. Can we really trust her? They are the droids that we're looking for. But he waved his hand and then... And then they just weren't. I had to let them through. I'm gonna get force choked for this one, I'm sure. Funny jokes. Funny jokes. Oh, is there gonna be a cut side? Yes, hey there's you. a cut scene. Hello. <coughs> How are you doing? I'm gonna have to pause it. Just peachy. All right, guys. We're a little bit over time here, but that's all right. I wanted to make sure I got to the end of that cutscene. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. Still not much happening on any of the fronts, really. But that's okay. I think that things are coming together, and I like that. And more things are opening up. So I'll see you guys in the next piece of shit that I upload. Stay tuned for more.